Let's see what's going on for the week of September 3rd, 2018. We'll get right into it. everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is your weekly angelic reading for the week beginning September 3rd, 2018. Before we get started, if you would like a personal reading with me, go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services page. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please make sure that you like, subscribe and share. This helps me out immensely. So I do bring that up right in the beginning about the readings because I do have so many new viewers. Yay, thank you guys for being here. Um, and if you guys don't know, I went past the 44,444 subscriber count, which was awesome. <laughs> so people may not know how to get a reading with me. Also, I put up courses on various archangels, some meditations, um, I mean, you name it, over at gumroad.com slash angel souls, I believe. I leave all that linked down below. And also your support on Patreon is always very much appreciated. So as far as this week goes and the auto write goes, it's been interesting. Okay, there's not much here. Can you see that? They didn't really write out a whole bunch, but um, there's a big message nonetheless. Okay, so they are active now and you see evidence of this. So they would be anybody who's trying to uh, dampen the work. So there's this interesting dynamic of we've come so far and now there are these energies that are trying to work against us and try to undo the work. Even people who think that they are still doing well, okay, and they're on track. Now they're starting to go after people and telling them that they're wrong. You're offensive. You shouldn't say this. You shouldn't say that. This is all a ploy and what's scary is I feel like these people, like I said, are just not aware that they're doing it. So this is element of being on autopilot and doing this to others just to drag them down. So as always, we talk about this a lot. That's why a lot of people are here and not elsewhere because we have the real talk, <laughs> okay? So just be aware of that and you're gonna see evidence of this everywhere. Try not to judge, it's a little hard. I know I've had a lot of dark people coming at me. Um, and it, you know, now it makes me laugh a little bit because I see it for what it is. But if you are super sensitive, and, which I am, but at least I've worked through it and you know, I'm getting a little better at seeing things for what they really are instead of wondering like, what is wrong with everybody? You know, like actually seeing what's going on. If you're super sensitive, you might want to have, like I have a piece of hematite here, which is incredibly protective. Um, any sort of protective stone, have that with you. Make sure it's cleansed, cleared and charged. And always look up on how to cleanse, clear, and charge your specific crystal before you do it, <laughs> okay? Crystal people out there, you know, like there are crystals that are basically salt and they'll melt in water. So anyway, we go on. No one owns God, nor owns Jesus, nor owns angels. Okay, so let's keep going. For there is one source from which all are created. Do not follow those who seek to control in the name of Jesus, or for those who may put you into fear. Your connection to creator is yours and that is all. So it's interesting that there's this whole talk of Jesus coming up, right? So some of you might uh, come across that. Let's not take these messages and then just put them in a narrow sense. Do you know what I'm saying? Like um, this can really apply to anybody. You know what I mean? Um, you know, people start wars in the name of God and use God, use Jesus as a justification for being controlling over others. If you don't live the way I do, then you are a sinner. If you do not live the way that I do, then you're horrible and I have to fight you. Um, we might be seeing a lot of this example coming out in the world, but I feel like it might be on an individual level as well, okay? So, Protect yourselves and use this time to heal. Observe, Mind mindfulness is key now. 
The darkened people will rear up, and some give their power to it. Let it not unsettle. Let it. Let it not unsettle you. What? <laughs> don't don't be unsettled by it. I guess is what we're saying. Um, where were we? For what was then is not now. Be alert with all love, the angels of God's love and light. So we're going to see more of this wanting to. I just heard entrapment. There's entrapment. So let's be careful with that. It's a mess right now. Okay. It is a mess. And, you know, everyone's trying to be right. Everyone's trying to find the right path. And really, we just need to relax into what is. Um, some of you, and we need to talk about this, some of you might feel as if you have been under psychic attack. Uh, I never used to really, you know, I would hear that and be like, is that just kind of like, a, you know, so to speak kind of thing? But no, I've, I've actually had people psychically attack me. Um, recently, I noticed that I, I think I shared this a little bit just a second ago, but I started getting some of these darker energies coming at me. And um, one of the weird things is that they're wanting free readings. It's very bizarre. They're wanting free readings. And um, when I say, well, you know, if you want a reading with me, as I say in every video, here's all the information. And they're coming back and attacking and saying, you're a scam artist, you're a fraud. You know, that's a surefire sign, especially, you know, trust yourselves, I guess is what I'm getting at. And they do talk about observing your own reactions to things. You know, you don't need to let somebody invalidate your belief system. You don't need to let somebody invalidate or tell you who you are, okay? We have a lot of, a, we have, well, I think a lot of people who are in the spiritual community come because they've been through something, okay? Those traumas can lead to some, you know, really big uh, ways of seeing the world, <laughs> right? Um, emotional, um, is, is the word dysregulation? I'm not even sure what the word is, but, you know, if you talk to any psychologist, I'm sure they can help you out with that. But, you know, we, we start to, and you see it, it's very, very evident. People are coming to the table and they don't know who they are. And, you know, in some cases, even though our brains will fight against this, they really are waiting for someone to define them. Yes. So we see this in unhealthy friendships. We see this in unhealthy romantic partnerships. We have, uh, you know, unhealthy uh, careers. You know, we have like the, the dynamic with our coworkers isn't healthy. So this is something I think they're talking about to bring it to the surface, to let it be healed. Um, don't be afraid to read what you're, you know, guided to read, even if it is just to see like, where's everybody else coming from? You may not agree with it, but you know, maybe for the sake of insight, Okay, so when people are trying to use you as a puppet and they want to mold you to who they think you should be, fighting back, eh, I mean, you could, that's one approach, but that's going to waste your energy. I think they're talking more about just trusting yourself and building that trust and knowing who you are, um, knowing what your own identity is and not letting anybody else tell you what's up about that. Okay, so there's that. Now, having said that, there is this weird energy where I noticed all of a sudden there was this influx. This is just an example. Um, there's this influx of people um, coming and sending insulting things and stuff like that. Again, this is going to, you know, you might experience this in your own life. Just keep an eye out for it. And then all of a sudden, finances started to be a little odd. Like, this isn't normal. And I was like, okay, I know exactly what's going on here. Um... I, you know, I, I have those psychic attacks going on. It doesn't affect me the way it used to because I, I know how to protect myself. But every once in a while, don't be afraid to do a deep clean on that energy and really put out the reflective light so that they can't get near you and so that the influences can't get in, okay? And remember always, just while we're on the topic, you are valuable and your time is valuable. <laughs> so don't let anybody use you. Um, that feels like a message to share as well. So if you have like a regular, just, you know, let's say you have a nine to five office job and you're not, you're being asked to cover for four people, but you're getting the same salary. I mean, that's not fair. Or if you're expected to work super long hours and you're not getting compensated, you are worth the time that you put in. Okay. So having said that, let's get onto the cards. All right. So let's see what we have for the week of September 3rd, 2018. Cards are messy. <laughs> they're what? Again, they're kind of out of frame here, but they're just kind of all over the place. 
So you might feel all over the place. So it'll be, oh, <laughs> we have a card jumping out too. So you'll want to really focus on grounding. Again, Archangel Sandalfin can help you with that or any Archangel that you, or Angel, you know, of God's love and light only, <laughs> right? That you want to work with to help you get grounded. Be working on that. Oh, speaking of, speaking of being grounded, petrified wood ancestors. So again, some people will take this as the wisdom of the ancestors and there can be some um, teachings that you bring up again and it, it starts to you know remind you of okay this is who I am let's get back to basics it could have that feeling about it this can also talk about looking at the past so this has a feeling I feel Archangel Jeremiah coming up so you might want to do a little bit of a life review kind of go back or even you know past life regression you can do that uh, and see it's really about getting in there and doing a deep cleaning on the energy we said that before and that's really what's going on here so releasing any past life whatever's that might be going on for you <laughs> okay this is also a card that talks about let's learn from the ancestors and in some cases do not as they do right okay so let's keep shuffling <laughs> having said that oh look at that Ah, Orphanment success. <laughs> I love when this card comes out. So your key to success is going to be letting go of your expectations. A lot of us had some very detailed life plans in the New Age community, especially when we talk about manifestation and as it went into mainstream and became uh, very, very trendy. Um, you know, there was this idea that, you know, you'd be very, very, very specific and really, and I, you know, I get why that's out there. And yeah, you want to be kind of clear on what it is that you want. But when you're working with the universe, be open to show me, you know, this is what I'm thinking, but it could be this or something better or show me what will truly bring me happiness. Show me what will bring me, you know, what this, this experience that I want to have. Okay. And you feel it throughout the whole of your body. So we do see some measure of success for some of you on the surface level. This could be an opportunity popping out of the blue. There's something very unexpected about this, right? So... It's something that it, you never in your wildest dreams would you have expected somebody to come out and offer this. This could also be surprise money. This could be surprise, a surprise check coming in the mail. Um, settlements, okay? So some of you out there who are dealing with settlements, as long as you're fair and you're keeping your energy pure, you can come to a nice resolution. If you're gonna come at whatever you're doing with anger, wanting to win, wanting to get one over on the other person, it's gonna drag out, okay? So it could get scary, and I know, I know how that feels, where some of you who are living paycheck to paycheck, you know, I'm, I'm in the same boat. It can get scary if an expense comes up or something like that, but there will be successful resolutions. There will be some, uh, something kind of coming to a culmination or being laid to rest, so to speak, okay? So if you have been having something going on that you're like, uh, you know, whatever area of life is, is sort of activated this week for you, there will be a successful outcome if you allow it. Who said it with me? Comment down below if you just said that with me, because <laughs> I say that just about every single week. None of this will come to pass if you are, um, if you're angry. You know, it's not bad to be angry. If you have something to be angry about, I always say be authentic in your feelings. Just don't wallow in it, okay? Or if you're in a hateful place, you know? Um, let's go back to the, the, the spiritual community can be, as I said before, people come here because usually they've been through something and that's the thing that has kicked them out of their uh, 3D comfort zone, <laughs> right? And so they go seeking. Um, and then they come into this and sometimes some of the things that are being said can act as emotional triggers and they can start acting out and they can start um, lashing out and being cruel. And uh, in this day and age of the computer, you know, it's very easy to sit at home and be somewhat anonymous and attack other people. But if, if the anger in you, for some of you, is getting the better of you and you are thinking that you're being anonymous, God sees everything. I'll offer that to people who have people coming at them and they're being cruel. God sees everything. You need not do anything but sit back and let God take care of it. All right. So going back to people who might be in that place of anger where, you know, it's just because maybe you feel raw or maybe you feel like 
you, you came here for comfort and now you're asking me to grow? How dare you? You know, kind of thing. And I get it because if you're in that space, it can feel like it's a dagger going into you. But if you're in that space, observe, be mindful, okay? Don't block out your success by reacting the way. Maybe some of this has been inherited in your family. Maybe your family has a, a pattern of overreacting or anger or whatever. So give it some thought. Your success comes from giving room for the universe to work with you. And that may not come in the way of seeing a reward there in 3D right in front of you right away. It might come by way of you discovering, you know what? I do struggle with that. You know what? That is a pattern of mine. You know what? <laughs> like maybe I should clear my energy. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. So the next card we have is fluorite learning. See, our success comes from learning. And again, we have very, very earthy kind of grounded colors going on here. So it's going to be very, very helpful for you if you remain grounded. Now, fluorite can also bring in a lot of abundance and success. It's nice that it's coming right up next to the success card. But if you don't learn your lessons, this isn't for you. Okay. For some of you <laughs> who are not heeding this message, um, you're, you don't learn the hard way. All right. Don't do that to yourselves. Open yourself up to the success. All right. And I feel like we have two cards wanting to poke out. I want to po uh, pull this one first. <laughs> you guys are going to do it. I'm like, ah, you can see it before I do. There's the second one popping out. I'll leave it popped out, but we got to do this one. So this is chrysotile animals. Again, it goes kind of into that whole earthy feeling. Um, animals are well, your pets are about unconditional love, uh, about being grounded, about being in touch with nature. And animals uh, are carriers of energy that you need to be a little telepathic to understand. So there is, you know, that kind of comes right after the learning card. So we're learning from animals <laughs> in a way, but you're going to have to give it some thought. You're going to have to give it some real consideration for that to make sense. Okay. <gasps> Yes, mama. Okay, so snap a fan and let it flutter. Okay, <laughs> so we have such a good card here before we get onto the color card. This is Citrine Abundance. So to have the, the success card in here with the abundance card, taking the energy of that Citrine. Um, I feel like we had this last week too, didn't we? Yeah. All right, anyway, <laughs> but notice the whole trend here. It's saying, yes, you can be abundant. Of course you can be. You can be successful. But if you're not grounded, if you're not learning your lessons, uh, none of this is going to happen for you. And I just want to point out that we had all sort of like gold colors and green. Okay. So I think that's very, very interesting. We'll keep that in mind as we pull the color card. Let's see what we have here. One more shuffle. You know, it's kind of fun. We have all these like golden colors and I keep thinking of the sun. I don't know if you could tell, I try to cover it up, but I ended up, my sunblock failed me and I did end up getting <laughs> burned on one side of my body. Figure that one out. Anyway, in case you're wondering like, what's wrong with our face? If it does pick up like that on the camera, that's it. That's what's wrong with my face. You guys, more earthy kinds of, <laughs> so get in touch with Mother Gaia get grounded, let her detoxify you. This card is Auburn, ground yourself. The number is 11, okay, master number 11. It's all about your soul growth this week. So yes, we're gonna have successes. Yes, there could be some very unexpected, wonderful things popping up for us, but it's going to come through, um, through the, the inner work. Okay, now we say that all the time, what the heck does that mean? That means not going, no, 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 that's not me, okay? No, 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 I, I never act that way. Don't be in denial. If you're in denial, then you are holding yourself back, okay? So this beautiful auburn color. And it's interesting because here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're gonna be going into fall, which fall and spring, they're my favorite times. <laughs> I can find enjoyment in all seasons, but really when I come alive, it is in that fresh start kind of feeling. It's those times of year. So times of the year, got my little ribbon, put that back there. <laughs> all right, so ground yourself. And if you do that, there's a beautiful setup here for us, okay? 
But if you're going to stay on the surface, if you're not going to look deeper, if you're not, if you think you're perfect and there's nothing wrong with you, um, not that there's anything wrong with you, but if you don't look at the things that come up and are right in front of you, this isn't going to happen for you. Um, I feel the need to say this too, and I'm trying to figure out like a nice way to put this. If you are somebody who has, um, uh, I don't know how to say this. One of the things that I heard this week is somebody came to me and said, I know I've been special my entire life. I have all these special gifts. Um, I, I want you to mentor me. And I was like, well, if you're so special, what do you need a mentor for? <laughs> that was my first like human thought. Like, But when I kind of tuned into this person's energy, they were really lost. And actually, um, they were in kind of a bad place. <sighs> this is what I'm talking about. We can kid ourselves, okay? Full disclosure, I, I deal with some disorders myself that have really put me in dangerous situations historically, not so much anymore. I've, I've spent a long time healing myself. That's why this work is, is so important to me and why I take it so seriously. Um, but some people ha haven't gotten there where they haven't looked at themselves and the fact that they're trying to hide in this feeling of specialness. And what's interesting is they'll try to hide in this feeling of specialness that really holds no weight it really isn't special at all um everybody in some way is psychic you have to be that's what keeps you alive okay it's what makes you run from a tiger right You're like oh i feel like something's behind me and that's what makes you look and and then of course the adrenaline saves you too but um it's it's sensing others it's your protection mechanism so if we start to get into this thing where i'm better than everybody else um, judging that reader or judging that spiritual person or whatever and saying they don't have anything to contribute, not as much as I do, you're already in a funny place. You might be a little bit in limbo, all right? And that will hold up your successes. This will hold up, I think that's why that grounded card is coming up with the number 11 on it. It's like, you know, you're going to be going through this big push of a ascension or however you want to look at that spiritual growth but you need to have your feet on the ground okay and you need to kind of get yourselves in check i need to get myself in check too <laughs> like how do i want to approach things um you know what what overwhelms me what what aggravates me what are my buttons okay what pushes my buttons can't remember if i said this already but um one of my you know things that pushes my buttons is when somebody tries to define me when they try to put a label on me, and I know that that's not me, right? I don't like inauthenticity. I don't like that. <laughs> so, um, or when people try to throw their opinions at me, you know, those are my triggers, uh, or not listening to me, not giving me, you know, a chance to have my say or um, to express my truth or, you know, whatever. Whenever somebody tries to sort of uh, suppress me, that's been a pattern my whole life. And so that will make me be like, <laughs> you know, like, you know, now I'm saying this. So, you know, do that for yourself. It's not fun to look at it. It's not fun to admit like, hey, I get ticked off by things, you know, but it can help you that self-understanding. That's what we're working towards this week. Let it be a fresh start. Be the, be the student of you. Okay. And see where you need to make some adjustments where you need to own up to something. Okay. When you do that, there's going to be a release within your energy. And guys, all this abundance, I'm telling you, oh, I'm, I'm getting chills, like waves of chills when I say abundance. And then we had that Auburn card, which also talks about sort of harvest time, if you want to think of it like that. Okay? So good luck this week. <laughs> I'm sending you so much love and take care. Surprise.